Okay, so let's look at this one. Um, so we're ultimately solving for r, right? And there's just going to use a couple of different concepts to solve this. So if we know the power and we know the voltage, we want this to get two volts, right? So we can find the current. How are we going to find the current through the circuit? Okay, P equals I times V. So let's find the current through this resistor. We'll use P equals I times V. So it's going to be 5 equals I times 2. So I looks like it's going to be 2.5 amps. So we found the current through here. But what's the current through here? It's the same because it's a series circuit, so they only get one current. Okay, that's Kirchhoff's current law. What if we, so next thing we want to do is we want to get R. Well, we know the current. What are we missing? The voltage. The voltage. So we look, okay, this is 120. This is a uh, 2. Therefore, we're dividing up the voltage between the two. So how much voltage is this guy going to get? 118. So remember, the sum of these currents have to equal 0. So 120 minus 118 minus 2 gets us back down to 0. So this is 118, this is 2.5, and now we can just use uh, V equals IR, R equals V over I to solve for that. So our V, we want this to be 118, we want this to be 2.5, okay, and what do we get? 47.2. Okay. So if we stick a 47 ohm resistor here, we're going to go ahead and uh, this bowl will work. Okay? Well, what would happen if we put a larger resistor there? How would that affect the bulb? It would dim it down. Yeah, that would be dimmer. And actually, you have that kind of circuit in your house, probably. If you have a dimming, dimming switch in your house, all that a dimming switch is, is a resistor in series with your light bulb. So there's a resistor right here, and when you slide the switch, you're changing the resistance of this resistor. And by changing, if you increase the resistance, what's going to happen to the light bulb? It's going to get dimmer. And if you decrease the resistance, it's going to get brighter. And actually, when you're at full brightness, that resistor would be zero. So it would be at the zero resistance. All right, we have about five minutes. Why don't you try and get through the first two if you can. You should definitely have time to get through the first one. Okay, let's go ahead. By the way, there's two main types of meters that we use. A voltmeter. What does a voltmeter measure? Voltage. And an ammeter. What does an ammeter measure? Amps. Amps or current. Okay, so they're going to refer to that like in the first problem. They have a little ammeter there, right? They're telling the ammeter is telling you what the current is. Turn off the what? Oh, am I still recording? <laughs>